this is Jimo. I'm coming to you again today um, on Indy6 and um, with uh, another subtopic simultaneous exponential equations. Before we go, as we usually do, um, I want to introduce you to my ebook from where I take some of the question and answer. Um, again, before I start solving question, let me quickly take you to a recap of my previous video. And this is um, some of the laws that we already um, dealt with in previous video. These are more of them. And uh, I usually advise students to get them reading somewhere. Um, today, before I go, I want to um, again advise the student to first of all revise method of solving simultaneous equation before watching this video. And uh, here we start with the first and the only example for this um, subtopic. And this is the question. Solve the system of equations 2 raised to power x plus y equals 32 3 raised to power 3y minus x equals 27. This is a jump question in 1998. So the question goes, I mean the solution goes thus. Um, this is the first equation that we are given and um, if 2x plus y equals 32 by factorizing 32 um, then we're gonna have 2 raised to power x plus y equals 2 raised to power 5 so now that you have both bases being equal we have 2 here and we have 2 here so we can equate the powers thus x plus y equals 5 so we're gonna take this as our first equation so looking at the second equation that was given in the question similarly if 3 raised to power 3y minus x equals 27 we can also factorize this one with uh, a factor of 3 so that we can have 3 raised to power 3y minus x equals 3 raised to power 3 and now that again we have equal basis so we have 3 here and we have 3 here we can equate the exponents I mean the powers thus 3y minus x equals 3 and this uh, forms equation 2 so we can add equation 1 and equation 2 and how do we do that this is my equation 1 and this is my equation 2 I want to solve both of them simultaneously so what I'm gonna do here is to add um, x here with the x I have here and that will give me 0 then if I had y plus 3y please note that this is 1y so you have 3y plus 1y you're gonna get 4y and add uh, 5 plus 3 you're gonna get 8 here so to find the value of y what I need to do here is just divide both sides by 4 and that means I'm going to have y equals 8 over 4 and that gives me 2 now that I have the value of y I need to find that of x so 
what I'm going to do is to use one of the two equations um, it is advisable especially when you are dealing with uh, jam question to use the simplest of the two simultaneous equation so because this one is more simpler I mean this is simpler than this so I'm just gonna take this I want to find X I already know my Y so I will make uh, X the subject of the formula and that is what I have here x equals 5 minus y now my y is 2 so I substitute here I'm gonna have 5 minus 2 and 5 minus 2 equals 3 and my answer is this actually the answers uh, sometimes is arranged in this way and whenever you see this it means the first one is x and the second one is y the reason for this is just arranging alphabets a b c d you know x comes before y so that is why this is x and this is y so this is uh, an exercise for you just um, try to solve this and the the answer is there so i wish you a good luck so the question i just solved now and those that I have solved in previous videos are taken from this book so you can access this book from this um, web page here and uh, in our next class we are still going to um, look at more other topic in indices and this time is quadratic exponential equation so um before then please like and share this video